to you who are new to our channel. My name is Yahira, but you guys can call me Yaya. And this is my beautiful wife, Karina. <laughs> I need to get better at that, but whatever. It's okay. So, for those of you who have been watching our YouTube and keeping up and subscribed, thank you so much and welcome back. So, for today's video, we are doing. We're giving the, you the truth. That's right. How we met story. Because. We did like a little poll and that's what most of you guys voted for. So, here we are. What here the we cheese are. Getting it cheese <laughs> So we're just gonna make the story a little shorter than yes. years that we've known each other. Yes, yes. So, so once upon a time. No, like, <laughs> so, basically I think what most of you guys already know, and for those who are new obviously don't, but my wife and I have been in each other's life since kids. Not literally in each other's life, but we attended like the same elementary school together. We went to the same Los Anderson. Anderson, that's right. Anderson with the blue shirts and the star. Now it's like all stars <laughs> or some stuff like that. But yeah, we I both went alligators to or something. Anderson Elementary School together, and then we went to middle school together, and then that was Rogers, and then we went to high school together, which is Prospect. Mm -hmm. So, and we lived two blocks away from each other the whole our time. life, like going through through school basically yeah. we never really talked back then um, like uh, we would see each yeah. other we noticed school. each other for Maybe sure we noticed each other <laughs> and we sing around the same groups kind of like, never really built any type of friendship or yeah or you know relationship or whatever we were kind of doing our own thing and so after high school we went our separate ways you know we did our own things mm -hmm. and then one year we ended up at the same Halloween house party. Yes. It was one of my girls' Halloween parties. At the time, she was with their ex, and I was with one of my exes. So, mm -hmm. I arrived there, and she was already there, looking mighty fine. Yeah. <laughs> with her ex at the time, yeah. and I walked in. She looked good. She told me she couldn't keep her eyes Yes, on me. she looked hella good. You know, we just did our well, We noticed each, we each other. Each other sure. And that was Halloween. Um, Exactly one year from that Halloween party, party. We ended up being single at the same time. Yeah. So That's what happened, baby? This is done. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm walking into a club on Halloween night, and I'm like, that night I wasn't even gonna go out. I was turning. I was like, up. no, you know, I'm gonna just stay in. Like, I don't know. It was, I was just wasn't caring for it. Um, and my brother just pushed me to go. He's like, well, come on, let's go. It's Halloween. Yeah. Just, you know, whatever. The whole get down. So I arrive at this club. I'm in line and. I guess my wife said she had noticed me already since so I was lying, but... I noticed her because I was standing right by the front of the bar, like right at the entrance. Yeah, by the door, kind of. Because I had already been drinking at the bar next door. So I had just walked in and ordered uh, myself a drink. And I got to a glass of her from inside. I got a glass of glass, her. glass window, Yeah, and I was just like, ooh. So, yeah. Girl! <laughs> she must have been watching me already. So as soon as I gave my ID, I don't know, and obviously they were charging the night, I'm sure it's Halloween, and yeah. I pay, and I literally, I was kidding not, just walked in, it's, the bar's that close to the door, I felt someone pull me, like they just yanked me, so I was like, was oh, <laughs> so I was like, oh, oh hey, what's up, you know what I'm saying, so, she had been drinking, like, no, cute at the bar and shit, but, she just asked me what's up. She's like, what's up with you? And I was like, okay, I like her. Hello, already. she was by herself. I was by myself. Yeah, so she was just kind of like, she's like, what's up with you, right? And I was just kind of like, you know, not much. What's up with you? But then I got a drink and I said, hey, I'm gonna go upstairs. So <laughs> I'll catch you up there. You know what I'm saying? It's two floor club. Yeah, so I go upstairs and I go upstairs as the outside patio. So I go out to the patio and then, you know, they're playing music. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I feel someone just rubbing behind me, like, you know. And but I look and guess who it is? <laughs> my wife, my Yay. sexy little wife. So she's just like, you know, and I turn around and I tell my brother, I'm like, this girl's trying to get my attention. Like, she want it, you know? I'm right here, so baby. So I was like, all right. So, <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> so, so yeah, so she's, you know, doing her thing. And so I still, I was, damn, why did they grab me? Damn, I still just kind of, you know, I was just, I don't know what I even thought. We had just became single. We were, you know, just having fun. Yeah, I was just laughing, you know, turning around, you know, I turned around and gave her head a little bit. And then once again, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go get another drink. All right, so I go get a drink. And so Karina, 
I go downstairs, but by the time I get my drink, I'm going back upstairs. Karina is coming down the stairs. And every time we did that a few times, so we're crossing. Yeah. And every time we did that, Karina would walk by me and pinch me. Like <laughs> every time we cross, and I was like, this girl wanted. Right? So then that was that we had a really good night. We down My the face dancing. hurts from smiling so much. So we ended up, I think we ended up dancing that night. We ended up, yeah, we had a good night that night. Yeah, um, you know, the night and the kind of we invited each other. And so the next morning, I was like, you know, she's probably feeling herself. Like, she's, he's not gonna remember. Or, I don't know, she wasn't being sloppy. That just that, you know, it was that one night. It was the alcohol. Had, like, like we had alcohol. one night, right? And I was like, this is it. But if the next day it becomes around, I don't know, 5, 7 p.m., and I get a DM on IG. And guess who it is? It's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so um, she had started following me on IG and I followed her back and she sent me um, a DM saying, she didn't She didn't ask me if I was going. She told me to be at the same club at 9 p.m. that night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. So I was like, for sure, yeah. You like, know, Halloween, you gotta do that Friday night, that Saturday yeah, night. Yeah, I was surprised she hit me up, you know, and she saw so I was in my boss chick. Like, she didn't ask, she was just like, be there. So I was like, for sure. I told my brother, I was like, let's just be out. Ah, ahora si quería. Didn't watch it. When I walk in, there's like a little seating area. I noticed there's fine ass just sitting there and watching ready. So I walk in. Sure I was enough. like, llegaste tarde. No te yeah, I did. <laughs> I was there like 10, 10, 30. I was like, this girl likes to be out there early. So that we basically build a relationship. Yeah, we build quickly. a relationship pretty quickly. It's just both of our personalities just kind of click. Like we just vibe. Yeah, it was nice. It was always such a damn good time. Like, like always. Like we would drink, we would dance, and we would always have like our friends with us. We would go eat. Like it was just such a good time, nothing but laughs. Yeah, literally. so then obviously we had each other's numbers, you know, by the second time I met up with her at the club. Yeah. Uh, so we would just text every single day. And mm -hmm. we're texting on a friend now. Like we had such a good time that, you know, it was too nice just dancing with each other, laughing. We we're just texting as friends. Mm -hmm. Shortly after that, oh, from there, we actually were meeting at the club, at that club every weekend. weekend. And like it was like our thing. Like yeah. that's how much fun we we're having. With but it each was other. always because I mean we clearly were attracted to each other. But mm -hmm. besides that, like it was so pure. Like we, we just had such a good time. Like the vibe yeah. was just so real. So we were like just doing it every single weekend. Yep. And we knew, then knew where to go. We started making a routine every time after the club, we're going to Livix. So we're walking out, I was buying her a rose, roses, or every the whole bucket time. of roses, every time we walk out the club. And we still weren't even kissing or, you know, nothing like that. We just, friend, hey, friends. Friends. But clearly, <laughs> I don't know, it was just such a beautiful relationship. Relationship. Like, she's like my best friend. I feel like yeah. that's why I always say I married my best friend because we were able to create this relationship before anything. Before anything. Um, so, yeah, we're meeting at the club. We're texting every day. Uh, mm -hmm. We started catching lunch throughout the week here and there. Like, yeah. But she'd bring like her her uh, her cousin or her best friend or her sister, you know. And I'd bring my brother. It was just still like that friend vibe, and it was nothing. We all just vibed together. Yes. It was always yeah. It was fun. right. So obviously, shortly after that, um, we started feeling ourselves a little bit. Um, still kept it PG thirteen on, you know. <laughs> we didn't get damn. She always <laughs> had so much respect for me. Like it was always so different with her. Like she would never mm -hmm. be like. She would never go for the kiss, you know. She would always respect me. She would never be sexual with me. Like it was just that's, so pure. Like it was different. And that's so weird for me because you would think like, oh, I'd go for it. Or normally, you know, females in the past, I'm just trying to do something with them or whatever. With her, it was just like I wanted her so bad. But therefore, I had respect for her because of how much I wanted her. If it makes sense. Like she yeah. even told me one time too, if I would have just gone for it, try to touch her, or you know. She probably would have been down for it, but she told me it wouldn't have been the same. It mm -hmm. would have just been that moment and that's it, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, shortly after that, we started just holding hands and kissing, you know? Like, we were legit dating, like, yeah, or something. I don't know. It was, it was, like, her kisses were my favorite. I was obsessed with her kisses. Like, I didn't need it. I wanted to, but I needed, you know, <laughs> harass her anyway. It was just so pure and so, um, so dope. Like, yeah. the vibe was just so dope. I wish you guys um, can feel the vibe like my heart's like half <laughs> together. Like it's crazy. Like it's we so never really took that step forward. Like we never, I never asked that. We were just being innocent, kissing, holding hands. You know, it got to the point where I was going to the club, 
and then ask me what's your goal for now and then ask her what but we weren't at. even official they we just official. knew we always came together, together. yeah um a bit after that i think uh what's it a few months or a year it was like a couple i think almost a year almost a year we decided to go our own ways but still stay in touch does that mm -hmm. make sense because we never made anything official we're just enjoying ourselves and that friendship we have and I think we were both holding back because we were scared to lose that, that vibe. Friendship. That we were, friendship. I was like, I don't want to lose what we so, have. So, yeah, so she went her own way. I went my own way. Um, she dated a few people. Or not even a few people. I think just like one person. And I actually dated only one person, too. In that, in that moment that yeah, we decided to split us again. Um, and I remember her. Well, because we would always stay in touch, right, baby? Yeah, we would t stay in touch. It wasn't as constant, of course. You know what? But people kind of knew about us. So I had to change her contact on my phone number when I asked this person just because I did not want to stop staying in touch with her. Like I always, and no matter what, like so many situations in between, like things happen that were life changing for myself. Mm -hmm. And I always knew who I had to run to. I always knew I had to communicate it with her. She was the only one that understood me. Like there was so many things to it. Like for example, like the biggest change that happened in my life was when my mom got breast cancer. The first person I thought of was her because only she knows how much I love and respect my mother just the way she does with her own mother. So I knew the only person that would understand me would be her. So like little things like that, like that's how strong our bond was. No matter what, like I knew I had to go look for her to make myself feel comfortable and okay. Yes, that's true. So yeah, we always stayed in, in touch with each other. Mm -hmm. So uh, something funny, well not funny because look where we are. but. The last person I was with, I remember she was dating someone too or whatever and she she would go MIA on me sometimes. Like she'd go MIA for a month, she'd go MIA for two weeks. And I would never go looking for her, I kind of just respect her to be, but I knew she'd come back if it makes sense. Like I, like knew, I, I, I knew I was going to hear Check from in her. with her, you know? Yeah, like I don't know what she was doing if I was causing her problems or you know, like you don't know what she, since we both went our own way. Yeah. But I just knew like she was out there and she's going to come me yeah um so one time she hits me up and it's early morning it's like five in the morning and i'm working right and she's on her way to work at 7 30 in the morning and stuff because we knew everything about each other and she knows i'm with somebody and she's with somebody at the time she randomly texts me and just tells me hey and i'm like what's up she goes don't you ever go marrying anyone because me and you are gonna get married <laughs> it's at the time crazy and i just literally i literally was yeah. I literally was just driving to work and I was like for some reason like I knew I had a text for this which is who does that like you guys are not even dating you guys are not so. official <laughs> you guys go am I on each other but I text her and I was like hey whatever you do marrying anybody because yeah she told me whatever you do she's she was like I know you with bapani bap bap <laughs> yeah but she's like whatever you do just don't go marry don't, anyone don't fuck up and so I laughed at my phone and I was like this girl's crazy <laughs> what is she talking about right and so I just, you know, I told her, of course not, you know, blah, 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 and went about my day. But now that I think about that, it's crazy because look at where we're at. We're married, right? She told me, you just don't fuck up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so after she went her way, I went away, we tried it. We, I hit her up. Um, oh, yeah, when you text me? I hit her up around Valentine's Day. So I was... A little before Valentine's, it was like... Yeah, a little before Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. So this is the final. Th I remember that I never hit her up, that she'd always come back to me. So this one time, I decided to hit her up. Um, I was sitting at our favorite. Um, so we have a specific restaurant we always go to. Like, that's our restaurant. Like Because since we're friends. And remember I told you guys that we'd go out to lunches that we start yeah. seeing each other the week? It was that spot. And that's why I started like a paque. Yeah. So, it's a chavela. So I, ne I was at our spot. I never hit her up ever, ever. I mean, because I would just wait around for my beautiful wife to come back. <laughs> um, but that day I had gone out with my brother mm -hmm. and we went out for a Chavela because the Chavelas are really good there. Try them if you haven't yet. They're icy cold, perfect made. But anyway, so we went and got one Chavela, two Chavelas, you know, and I wasn't feeling myself at two Chavelas something, but my brother brought up my, my wife because he's always been around. He used to go out to lunch with there as well. So he brings her up, he's like, have you heard from La Cari? <laughs> he always calls me Cari. So I was just like, no, you know, this this had been the longest Korean had gone MIA for me. 
I was kind of like, no, I was like, you know what? I had actually thought, I was like, she's probably, this is it, you know? She probably found someone or, you know, I don't know, whatever, she's doing her thing. So, I was like, no, I haven't heard from her. And so he was like, oh, we just kind of let it talk about some memories we had there, all as a group, friends yeah. and stuff. What happened? I kept drinking. <laughs> so, I remember I was four chave lesson and one super in and i don't do tequila oh so i happen to be sitting there and my brother instigated all the time he goes do you have her number and i was like i, sh I was like if she hasn't changed it yeah i still got her number oh i didn't change it <laughs> <laughs> so um i he's like you won't hit her up and i was like no he's like you won't hit her up don't tell me that don't test her i will do it you bet me to I think. Anyways, um, he's like, I, he's like, I dare you to hit her up. And I was like, what if she's sitting with someone? Or you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't know. And he was like, you're not gonna hit her up. So I was like, fuck it. So I go through my consoles, you know, filling myself with, hey, blame it on the alcohol. Again. Blame it on the <laughs> alcohol. And I, I come across the number, and I just sent her an emoji, the little hand that's like to the side, that's the side. The one that's kind of like waving, right? So then I hit you up, and you didn't put nothing in the message. You just put nothing the emoji. The emoji. Go ahead, baby. <clears throat> so I was actually about to jump in the shower when I seen that. I, I opened Are you my shaking, phone. Baby? Huh? I'm hot. Um, I was about to open. I was about to jump in the shower when I seen her message, but it, of course I didn't have her saved. I had gotten a new phone and whatnot. So she didn't. So she didn't know who it was. I didn't know who it was. So all I seen was like the little waving hand. And so I opened it and I was like, what the heck? So I sent her a waving hand back. She sent me a waving hand back. So then I sent her a different emoji. It was just like a smiley face emoji, whatever. So then. She sends you back another emoji. So I was like, okay, she playing. Does she know who this is? Oh, she playing. No, I was like, do you know who this is? And she was like, no, right? Because obviously she didn't know who this. So people knew us as vieja, like she's my vieja and I'm her vieja. Like I would right? be like, where's my vieja? Right. So vieja was our word. That was like our thing. So after she told me no, she said no. I was like, it's your vieja. It's oh, your one and only my vieja. God. That was it. That was it. After that, I was like, oh my god, no way. I grabbed my clothes really quick. I went in the shower and I was just trying to text her back and forth, trying to get out the shower so I can text her. But it was like just catching up. Like it was just like. Like she was so excited. Yeah, it's like, I was so excited. <laughs> then I ended up getting too drunk. Like I blacked out. So then the next morning I woke up and I was like, was it a dream? <laughs> What happened? What happened? Like, you know, I remembered it, but I was like, no way. And I looked at my phone and I was out of juice. I was like, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. like, so little did I come to uh, find out, I came into her life at the perfect time. Um, she was in a relationship at the time that was completely downhill. It was like out yeah. the window. I was in a shitty relationship where I was just there to be there. Not, yeah. Honestly, not even respecting it because I had already disrespected that relationship. Yeah. So I wasn't happy either, you know? It so, was like at the perfect time, you know? So I think that's when we both just kind of realized. So that's when we realized, you know, we have to give it a shot. pick and choose what we want to do, like our friendship or our friendship and try to give it a shot. So we decided to give it a shot slowly but surely and it ended up being the best decision of my life. Same. It's it crazy. Was, like, it, was, it, it was an amazing thing. It was like that friendship part of it never left. You know what like I'm saying? It's still here. Yeah. Like, and that's this is why I always say I probably annoy some people, but I'm always putting like in my captions, I then marry my best friend. I swear I I marry my best friend. All yeah. this best friend best friend and it's not just to be it's it's like ser it's literally how it happened. Like you what know? do you always tell people, babe? Like I don't mean it in that way, but like I sometimes I forget I married yeah. my wife. I, that's my wife how many times I tell her sometimes I'm sitting eating lunch and then I'm like, babe, like I legit forget that we're married. And I tell her all the time, yeah. not in a bad way. But because you know how people get married and, and they're like, like the law and a ring and the last name and I don't know, you know, I know some people are happy about being married, but they see it as a, I don't know, this is very special and important to a uh, marriage, but it's such a beautiful feeling not having to feel like married. It's like, like it's, it's my forced, friend. You know, like it's not like, forced. It just, it just, it's so natural. Like I love that she's my wife and I love that she took Same. my last name, but it's such a beautiful feeling knowing the vibe we have and like the friendship we yeah. continue to have. Nothing has changed. Like. I think if you guys really seen us, we are fools with each other. Like, we're so, 
y'all, you guys will slowly but surely start seeing more we're of us. We're close to each other. I have like to be friends with her. She has to confront me, but I know it's my we're woman. We're too damn yeah. much. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, like, so we decided to give it a try. It ended up being so damn amazing. Um, like, we became obsessed with each other. Even, <laughs> I think, more than what we were with our friendship, we just, yeah. it just gave it that, you know, when you're, like, at the max notch? No. It just this shit broke. <laughs> like, it, it was like, just, I could not wait to see her, like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, every like day. we would see each other every day. Like, till this day, like, we do everything together. People like, always we shower ask, together, yeah. we cook together. And this well, is every day. When we're at work, we work at the same, um, <clears throat> Same company, different location though. We're texting every minute of the day. And people mm -hmm. are like, what, what can you guys possibly talk about? talk about? Till this day. Till this day, we're like together 24 seven. Like, I was just taking a deep breath and you came in case today. It's funny because every time we're at her mom's or at my parents' house, I mean, let me have lip gloss. Like, sorry. Um, yeah, every time we're at either parent's house, she'll be like walking to the bathroom and where she goes is the little... There goes your hair. You know? And where, where, you where she goes, I go. Or like on my parents' side, so I go to her bathroom. And my mom was... She's right behind me. Like, no matter where, we're always together. And my dad was like, damn, do you guys shit together too? And I was we like, just about. Just about do. If you guys see the way our bathroom set up, she, like the sink area is outside. So she literally will sit in the sink. We'll have, full have the door open and I'm on the toilet. <laughs> TMI, but it's really It's the it truth. It's just we're not going to be fake to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how our relationship is. And I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah, I wouldn't either. You know what I'm saying? So like my mom would always say, va una, va la otra. Allá va una, allá va la otra. Yeah, like I love my wife. I love being with her 24-7. As corny as I may sound. Like it's my best friend. And yeah. that's probably where... Um, people fall off, but it's like this is my best friend and my wife. So it's like when you're not with your partner When you're not with your partner, who are you talking to? Who are you hanging out with, with your boys, with your girls, with your best friend, right? Well, I got like two and one. So it's like best of two worlds, <laughs> you know? So that's really how I feel about it and how we are. So as we were saying, we gave it that shot. Um, we ended up dating. We ended up dating. Uh, I brought her around my family. My family love, loves her. Um, hopefully, we can show you guys videos. Like, yeah. Uh, little episodes. But my family loved her, especially my mom. I met her family, and they all loved love me. her. Like, yes, her mom adores me, and I could feel it. And it's such a great feeling. I think feeling. it was one of the best feelings moving into my mom with her. Like, we moved into my mom's house for a little bit um, before we got our own place after we made it official and stuff and like the bond that my mom and my wife grew it, it just made me love her even more you know what i'm saying so that anyways that's it getting further into detail um shortly after that she ended up proposing to me at universal studios with the grinch it was her first time there um with her favorite character around so i was like why not you it guys amazing. if you guys have not yet watched the video we'll link it down below the video so you guys don't miss it i explained the whole story of my whole proposal yeah so watch that but um after that obviously we got married we went through with our proposal we ended up getting married at san francisco city hall if you guys know san francisco city hall it is gorgeous like it's beautiful, beautiful. It's like the outside of the building is beautiful, but inside, the inside is like the beautiful. detailing. It was just gorgeous. Yeah. Um, so we got married January 8th, 2018, 1818. And the eights have a meaning to it for us. Um, eight is for infinity. That's why we added two infinities to our date. My wife actually picked that day. She's super cute. All those extra little details and stuff. Um, so yeah, I love our wedding date. I'm eventually going to get it tatted on me. <laughs> but um, yeah, we got married. Um, and now we are here. Um, this January we crossed what two years? Two married. years. We're going on three next year. We're exactly two years and a quarter married. That yes, quarter, we do forget. still say happy anniversary every month. Every month we do. <laughs> so now, now you guys, you guys know a little bit, a little more. background of how we got here. You know, how we got we our met. own place now. We have our own dog together. Um, you know, and we're happily, 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 happily married. We're happily married. It's. It's amazing. Yeah, it really is, guys. And I can't wait to take you guys on more of the journey that we've been riding together. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoy it as well. You know, the cooking or night yeah. routines, our morning routine. <laughs> we just always knew we belonged to each other. Always, always. Our vibe was just so magical. I love you, baby. And I wouldn't trade her for the world. So, for all y'all that want her, yeah. 
people stay waiting. <laughs> waiting? They're never you know what? I, I gave people the chances and they just couldn't tie her down. Okay. So she came back around my way and I was it like. It was meant to be. I knew it. Yeah. La, don't forget, I told her, no te vayas a casar. All right, guys, so this wraps it up for us. Uh, it's a short version of how we met. Love love baby. Story, yeah. Our love story. Um, thank you for watching, and if you have not yet, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys do, and make sure you guys turn on that notification button so you guys don't miss out on our next video. Yay. Until next, next time. time.